Okay. Okay, hello guys. How how is everyone? Okay, I'm going to go to the comment section. Welcome, welcome. I have put the question of the day here. What are the top three needs we have as humans? Okay, so just just whatever your personal needs are, you are welcome to put them out here. So thank you, Sanikaji. Welcome. So need is a very subjective topic. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you got it, sir. Or ma'am. Sorry. MS. Okay. So nice topic needs to have this kind of discussion in, situa in such situational time. Yes. I think COVID has brought us uh, all to our brass tacks and it has, you know, we, we have come down to the basics, literally, uh, physically and metaphorically, because, you know, COVID has put that stark contrast between what is actually needed and uh, what we really keep pursuing all the time. Uh, okay, Sukita Ji, how are you? The weather here is actually great. Um, and uh, like MS, I also feel like weather is a subjective matter. I mean, of course, it is. if it is constantly raining, like for 100 days in a row, that's a different thing. But I feel like weather might be a state of mind. I like to think that, okay, it is always bright and sunny in my mind. That's what I think. But I'm sure you're asking about the real weather. The weather is uh, bright and sunny here. Um, okay, so Praveen ji, hi, welcome, welcome. Uh, Jay Shri Ram Sadiji, how are you? Okay, so the topic of the day, once again, I am flashing this here. Uh, please uh, let me know what you guys think about it. What are the top three needs? What are your top three needs? Usually, what are uh, the top three needs of us as uh, humans? What do we desire? What do we need? What do we want? Of course, there is a difference between our needs, our wants, and our desires. I want to start with a story here. Uh, Okay. Wow. Nice. Uh, UK. I'm sure uh, a lot of my friends are, you guys are from India. Somebody is here from UK. Chandrakan ji. Hi. Welcome. Minta ji is from California. Satish ji. Okay. So um, here is uh, the topic of the day, which is again, once again, what are your top three needs? I'm talking about needs. I'm not talking about wants and I'm not talking about desires. Okay, so there is a difference. Need is like the most basic needs for us to survive. Like, what do you think are your top three needs? Um, even if you go, so I'll start with the story. Uh, when I came here two, day, two decades ago to America, uh, I was reading in a very famous book, and then I started observing all around me that America was a place where even uh, cars had homes. So all these garages, big, big garages with all these big cars. And I was just fascinated because, uh, you know, space in India is so uh, little and we have to be very conservative about how we use our space and everything right here. Uh, it's just acres and acres of land and all these gigantic homes with big uh, garages. And uh, that's when I understood that even cars have homes, meaning so all these garages are literally homes for these cars. Mm. Then suddenly something started happening. As the years went by, I started observing that a lot of people were actually not using their cars to park, uh, the, not using their garages to park their cars inside, but the garages were now getting full uh, with all kinds of things that they were trying to, uh, you know, get for themselves or for their home or something like that. So it was uh, the garages uh, pretty much are now full and uh, an average American now spends $80 on a month on uh, storage store uh, buying external storage units so that they can uh, save all their uh, uh, stuff so um, i keep thinking about what is the need of acquiring so much that you cannot even fit it into your home that you have to buy storage just to uh, you know put uh, stuff inside so it's just uh, so confusing so um, how we are uh, you know how we keep on acquiring 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 and uh, what is the point of all this? So that is the topic of the day. Um, so again, what are your top three needs? What do you think? <laughs> I think Satish ji <laughs> speaks for all of us when he says this money, money, money. Yes, money gives us options. Absolutely, money is uh, uh, a need. Okay. Uh, so three, 
three needs are all money satish okay <laughs> okay i hope the universe will hear and like grant your wish um hi palomi how are you uh, hope you're well okay palomi good morning okay so sharmila ji says okay so cleanliness knowledge and health okay so we have to talk about the knowledge economy also and i want to talk about uh, the use of knowledge in the 21st century i think that is a very good uh, interesting topic because uh, what we have to show the 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 difference between knowledge wisdom skills there is a lot of difference and how we can unpack it and uh, what is really going to be important for uh, our children going forward because uh, we are not going to be hired for what we know we are only going to be hired for what how we can analyze what we do so that's uh, we'll talk about it in a workforce related uh, topic later on but shamla ji um, cleanliness knowledge and health okay so ashish ji how are you okay there only three satisfaction okay only three satisfaction peace and good health okay is somewhat uh, uh, ashish ji you're like me a little bit more philosophical and getting to where I, even i think that uh, you know these are like the most basic brass tacks just uh down to the you know just clean up everything else in the world that you have acquired these are the things that will uh, ensure your long term uh, fulfillment i think this is a great answer thank you uh neera ji says i need education my parents have oxygen oh oxygen okay so it just uh, it feels a little ironical uh, that we are talking about uh, the need to have oxygen and the most basic has been taken away from us that is very strange but neera neera ji i appreciate your sentiment uh ashish ji okay neelima ji after a very long time i'm seeing you namaskaram ela unnaru i'm fine thank you <laughs> okay so uh, again uh, let's get back to the thing and i just want to um, explain to you guys what i feel like uh, i remember very clearly when okay so let me do this uh, i'll draw so that you'll can do this uh, can watch what's happening here <laughs> i'm going to start sharing my screen it's like a uh, something just i uh, just want to quickly explain to you how this is going to go <laughs> so i remember um, when i was uh, let me just one second i'll just okay the internet is a little weak okay so when i was uh, asking my children uh, i remember back in 2017 2018 when we were about to go to india i told my children to pack their bags and uh, they, and i said okay write down a list of all the things that you will need um, so that you can uh, you know we can all go together and have a good trip and everything and meet our grandparents and me we'll meet your grandparents and we'll have a good time and everything but i want you guys to you know pack for the trip so i remember very clearly i gave uh, my children a piece of paper and uh, uh, once i went to check on them once i went to check on them to see what they have written they literally like the next day i saw that there were only two lines and uh, one of the first ones was uh, you might not be surprised actually internet and the second thing was phone oh sorry one second charge so i was like uh, what is charge so i was thinking about it and uh, when i saw that i was like okay so what is this uh, charge thing about like what are they talking about so then i realized that he was talking about the phone battery and uh, he wanted to make sure that he had that power cord at all times with it so he had already by that time assumed that he will have a tablet or a phone as part of his like you know his outfit or his body <laughs> it, it was just an extension so he did not even feel the need to mention it he just mentioned that it is uh, all that he needed was internet and charge so the phone battery so i was like okay i was thinking about it uh, um, and then i thought okay so maybe kids these days you know here what do we need uh, to survive right we need our food the basic needs as maslow hierarchy of needs says food shelter you know the basics and we need our second thing that we need is safety we need to have the safety and security that, that we'll be okay and that is how we will also start learning um our threshold for learning depends on safety 
And the third thing is we obviously want to be felt like we belong. We belong to a community. So why are we here right now? We have the sense of community. We feel like we belong and, uh, you know, we, we find a common ground here. So that's why we are here. Um, and of course, uh, our individual aspects then start. So it is the self-esteem, the self starts and the self-esteem and the self-actualization where you realize your highest potential. So all these things go up here um, for kids. One second. Okay. So the for the kids of the day today, right now, it feels like uh, internet, you know, the Wi-Fi. Okay. One second. I'll just write Wi-Fi. It's better. So Wi-Fi. There's a lot of uh, memes on the internet that show this now uh, and battery. So and that is literally what my 10 year old was uh, at that point thinking that he needed. So um, if you come down to the brass tacks here, just uh, uh, the basics of what we desire, what we need and what we want, people, um, there is this comparison trap that we keep getting into. Uh, we see that, so earlier we would compare ourselves with our classmates or with our friends who were locally and, oh, they have a nice bag, oh, they have a nice pair of shoes. Um, you have that desire to accumulate that now into your life so that you feel happy or you feel uh, like you have achieved something or accomplished something. But nowadays, um, the comparison trap that we are getting into, we are getting into jealousy, we are getting into selfishness, we are getting into all kinds of uh, negative emotions because we are comparing ourselves to somebody who is 10,000 miles away who is owning all these uh, things uh, in their life. So it's just... Uh, uh, that is the nature of our life these days. And uh, let me see. I'm just, uh, I just hope uh, you guys, you know, kind of understand where we are coming from here. Because sometimes what happens is we feel like we equate. So whenever we have these needs and these desires, we feel like having more choices is like a, a sign of my freedom. You know, it, it's the sign of my autonomy. I I have all these needs and all these wants and I can, I can buy all these at the click of a button on Amazon or Flipkart. It means that look at like I have this choice that I can make and that, is, that shows my sense of autonomy or that sense of freedom. But uh, the reason why, uh, you know, as uh, even on our channel right now, we are doing this back to basics uh, uh, for Sushant's, uh, you know, we are doing all this uh, uh, investigative journalism as the common man right so uh, when we think about back to basics we have to remove that clutter of what we think that society uh, feels like uh, makes us successful right we're having a corner office as a ceo or something or uh, having um, a big house or uh, like a bookshelf which is so beautiful or whatever what de what defines us uh, if all these external things are going to define us then god help us right so um okay so let's see a little bit of the comments and then i'll continue a little bit and then you guys are welcome to please join and we can keep talking about it um okay so neera ji i'll just go back here one second um so good morning kapil mera ji how are you so and just uh, okay so three needs okay achievement affili affiliation and power very nice okay so kapil maharaji says um so achievement and power uh, i'm trying to figure out the distinction okay i think power for yourself like power or the power of influence and achievement is like how successful you are in what you do okay i i try to decipher that okay basic three needs uh, food shelter clothing uh we need money ironically okay yes but how much is enough is the question here Miluaji, yes um and uh okay Vinita ji power power might be you know power personal power power of influence like i need a little bit of you know power of influence over my children so that at least they can listen to me uh but uh, that power um if it becomes uh, you know something that is uh uh, detrimental to the other person's growth or something that that's when it is <laughs> questionable but Kapil um, Meraji okay achievement affiliation power yes okay so Kavita Singh Ji says uh, three needs peace of mind family and friends and happiness okay uh, yes I actually kind of love this as well because I feel like um, you know again all whatever you guys are all saying it is 
what uh, money cannot buy really so i think this we are headed in a great direction uh, internal healing to the soul yeah absolutely um, hello om shanti garu how are you uh, so we need education yes we need education absolutely and uh, um, i always keep thinking uh, nilma ji see we can have education but uh, sometimes uh, if you are not literate you know there is a difference between having a good education and being literate so uh, we can we can explore that in the education revolution uh, topic that we will pursue next self actualization peace and respect yes absolutely self respect uh, you know these uh, fall follow me ji these fall under the safety bucket because uh, if your self respect or your dignity is being questioned you don't feel you our motivation is taken away and uh, we can't grow uh, because we feel threatened uh, and absolutely i agree with you and these are the basics absolutely peace self respect i mean respect and self actualization self actualization is the ultimate goal uh, personally for me so um, okay so we need education educational knowledge okay palash ji okay uh, palash palash okay don't remember seeing this name but welcome sir how are you um family is important job is important job or business is important neelma ji you have a lot of <laughs> ideas um i'm actually going to post the link one second and then we can keep talking more my three things god is a friend um health okay and health health and health of family kids and all okay okay very nice okay i think you're already spiritually inclined uh, you probably follow brahma kumaris as well i guess i think we had that conversation now uh, why ain't humanity in the pyramid okay <laughs> so so here sir uh, the idea is saurabh ji the when uh, maslow created this uh, hierarchy he said if you are doing your best at any given point of time if you are realizing your highest potential you are basically in turn there, there are a lot of uh, uh, side effects of you living your best worship basically you are motivating you are propelling other people into action positive action you are also bringing about change in other people's mindset so um, it, it is uh, if, if you are not your best version if you not do your a uh, good job then you know it's going to be uh, and if you don't engage in the community in a civil manner obviously you know you are not uh, doing the best that you can do for humanity right so i think uh, uh, here uh, he was talking about an individual's uh, pyramid needs so i mean need of I mean, in the form of a pyramid like the hierarchical um, structure so uh, but but good question the, the it is subtly you know saying that if you live your best version you are also going to be helping humanity in a way kind of a thing by like propelling everybody into action priyanka how are you welcome welcome <laughs> gurmeet ji also says money money and health okay <laughs> okay so very nice uh, gurmeet welcome success what will do be it anything okay so i also want to do our definitions of success uh as one of the topics because uh, i feel like uh, you know what is success we it can get uh, pretty philosophical and deeper uh, when we think about it uh you know your definition of success might not be uh, anything close to what my definition of success may, might be so you know we can explore that as well but uh, yeah uh, you have to have a sense of success otherwise it's going to be difficult um, three needs uh, are need to keep loneliness away mental peace and focus 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 is all the the name of the game uh, here in the 21st century because we are all very very sadly distracted addicted all the time uh, thanks to our devices so um, we have to be focus is absolutely the need of the our palashi and i really appreciate that um, okay so let's see okay i just want to make sure uh, chance case about all this together humanity is coming back again absolutely sanika ji yeah thank you yes and uh, thanks to him i feel like uh, my eyes are so wide open now like there is absolutely no chance that i will go back to living my past life of like this consuming bollywood like a maniac just like <laughs> do it uh, whatever i used to like uh, all those movies that i used to see and i'm like how could i you know i keep like screaming into myself like uh, then i were right think about it but uh, yes humanity is definitely coming together once again uh, there is no doubt about it it's uh, absolutely and 
they is run parallel to our situations uh, this is exactly a very very valid point and uh, the needs are uh, depending on our situation absolutely and here the the point here ji is generally at a macro level i'm looking at a macro level i'm not a, a day to day basis pe of course uh, you know i need to get milk from the store i need to get uh, something from the store like i need some things for my basic essential survival today uh, sometimes i will have to stock up on things because um, tomorrow there will be a lockdown again or something like that right so obviously at that micro level i understand your sentiment what you are saying um, i'm just saying at a very macro level generally for our own like mental sanity and our own personal well being how do you define your needs so that's where i was coming from um neera ji okay Sharmila ji, okay, need good sleep, no mask days back. Honestly, okay. Ah, uh, okay. So I understand your sentiment. I don't know. It's just part of my uh, psyche right now when I'm like going out. Oh, where's my mask? Mask. So I don't know. It's okay now. I'm like learn to live with it. So, um, Jayesh Mishri ji, health, education, and money to satisfy basic needs from the Guru Hat. Uh, what is grahat is this like a document or i am so sorry i am so uh, i have not heard of this word i believe health education and money to satisfy basic needs okay okay health education okay so we just talked about education a little bit and health is uh, seems to be generally across the board um, uh, first time okay palaji i believe so yes sir. thank you i appreciate you coming and spending your time here really appreciate that uh sukija ji okay delhi say oh my gosh how are you sukija ji i always keep wondering how you're doing uh, especially in delhi i hope you're okay um, your family is well so money family and prosperity okay so money family and uh, natural by product of that might be prosperity i'm just thinking out aloud but uh, sure so your needs are money family and prosperity general well being that's what i can see in what you're saying um saurabh gupta ji says according to me today's world already focuses on power state brings it. state of mind okay another thing is money which again helps to gain power so same thing what we lack is really humanity um again i think uh, nihira ji uh, uh, I, i think no sorry one second i think sanika ji was saying that uh, um humanity is still exists and i kind of agree with her sir because i think uh generally broad spectrum of the if, thing if you see uh, whether you consider the population of india or around the world the obviously all the good things that happen don't make it to the news unfortunately and they are disproportionately a lot more than the negative news but uh, you know what makes news man stupidity or mother nature's fury right literally only those two things make news so that is why we see news like uh, as something that catches our eyeballs more and like uh, gives us a feeling that negativity is more than uh, positivity but i think uh, definitely you know uh, i feel like we still have some scope and we're still doing okay <laughs> uh, uh puja puja saxena okay one second i just want to see okay okay puja saxena how are you uh, very nice to see you after a long time i'm doing well thank you i hope you're well um okay so here and about humanity you talked i understand your point but to debate that i would say humanity teaches on self self progress getting the card power and money and satisfaction yes absolutely it is kind of a recursive thing sir uh, i think okay i'll hold on i just want to send the stream yard link uh, and then we'll continue looking at this uh, if anybody wants to join You're welcome to join um stop share screen okay so let's do this i just want to see okay yes it is kind of a recursive thing you know uh okay actually i'll just still keep the still keep this share button and i want to see <laughs> okay so i believe that uh, whatever you're saying i just think that okay so self actualization like you doing your best and uh, so i i believe that this can be like a cycle in itself and like the more you uh, develop the self the more you you feel the more you feel good about yourself as well as the more you are contributing to humanity i believe this can be a recursive model and also 
um like a recursive means it can like keep growing and growing and growing and like becoming big so the more you know about yourself the more you do for yourself the more you are contributing uh, to for your own personal growth and also for humanity kind of so i yeah i think we both are on the same page as far as this sentiment is concerned uh, okay so i'll just uh, stop here a little bit and then i'll add uh, suman yu ji okay hello sir how are you uh, let's get back here to the question of the day i'll just put it here so oops i'm sorry i think he got disconnected it's okay it's okay i was a little too excited um, and then i abandoned the comments for suman yu ji but he ditched me okay so <laughs> i'm just kidding so um, shabna ji success for me is a sense of fulfillment okay so as long as shabna ji your sense of success is Mm, strongly you you are rooted strongly in your own sense of success like definitions of success you know that's that's the game changer right here for you so that's great um i believe uh, what is the meaning of palash okay yeah actually same question here uh, palash palash like a palatial home uh, i mean the spelling is different of course but like palatial home is like a big home so i don't know if that is uh related to that okay so michelle palma writes okay so she writes education money family faith health love oh nice mates okay so <laughs> um in that order let's see education money family faith yeah you have to have something to anchor yourself in whether it is a secular faith whether it is a religious faith whatever it is the belief in general basic humanity in the self like a lot of faith faith can be anything uh, so i appreciate the sentiment so here uh, who bollywood bought bollywood i'm more entertained okay freeze them ji okay so freeze freeze you are uh, okay you whenever i say ji i keep forgetting that you told me not to say ji okay so i'm more entertaining yes absolutely and i'm still amazed that after the 5 hour marathon session this morning who which by the way um it's uh, i can i don't even have words to say because it's just heartbreaking at so many different levels uh, but i really appreciate your time please mm, so macro level pyramid yes yes just uh, ah the pyramid is not macro um, but the question the question okay okay so let me see the question that i have here is generally like generally on a macro level like a 50000 square foot view what do you need what do you need uh, for you are like you know to survive and thrive so what are your needs so that is the question um okay so okay so vanaprastha okay so jayesh mishri ji says uh, for vanaprastha's health the satisfaction with whatever you have a uh, little practice of pratyahar uh, i think i know pratyahar ka meaning if jayesh ji can say I, i'm not sure but vanaprastha uh, yeah i think at that age uh, jsg i'm not sure if you fall into the vanaprastha age but uh, you know health uh, satisfaction with whatever you have achieved or accomplished uh, any whatever you have right now in your ecosystem just being happy about it uh, and a uh, little bit of practice of pratyahar pratyahar is like giving you know maybe some of any one of you can answer um so sanika ji says right grahast it may be different yeah grahast it may be different yes oh you did you mean grahast ah okay okay oh okay so for grahast you are saying that okay i see that okay freeze is our uh, mj okay <laughs> but he needs to show us some moves otherwise uh, how will we believe it um so he is saying grahast ah okay 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 archana thank you thank you saying grahast mean married life okay so <laughs> okay thank you for that uh, i was i did not uh, connect to that there okay so i mean something to love and something to look forward to absolutely so shamla this is what i do um monday morning i keep thinking about all the things that i have to look forward to uh, whether it is something for myself or something for the you know i i'm doing with friends or with the community or in the community and this is one of the sessions that i feel is so fulfilling and enriching for me uh, at a personal level and what i uh, you know can uh, get out of all this and you know contrib and all as well as contribute so that's uh, something that i also make notes of and that gives me immense gratitude and uh, you know that is one of the things that fulfills me so much that you know all my other materialistic needs look so shallow in front of it so 
really appreciate that um sorry i'm schooling you yes it's humanity um <laughs> gurpreet ji i think uh, i mean i don't uh, see we cannot really comment on uh, anybody who is who has their full choices the way they have uh, i you know it's up to everybody who uh, we, it's a sensitive personal topic especially food and everything so i'll just not uh, uh, go there um okay nitro okay welcome welcome nitro mm, okay so pooja's needs are uh, travel peace and money okay so you want to travel okay i know especially now <laughs> when you have this need for travel i can uh, especially when we all feel like we are pretty much immobilized <laughs> i feel that uh, this is uh, yeah i'm sure uh, palash is the name of a flower okay 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 fantastic i did not know that that is very nice so flower is so are you like the so flower i'm just assuming it is the name of a guy by how it sounds but i might be wrong okay so when you enter uh, sanyas ashram okay so <laughs> you are <laughs> labeling all the ashram ashrams that we have to be in okay so health is a mind and mon okay related to the containment of indri indriya okay so indriya indriya nigrahan so i think that's what it is sanyas ashram mein okay ah uh, jayesh i don't know if you are uh, about to enter into sanyas ashram uh, but uh, okay so ushma ji okay ushma mall ushma ji welcome welcome um sumani ji hi ah uh, sorry i think your internet cut out yes sir so do you have any comment yeah, yeah. about uh yeah actually i was disconnected because of my internet connection but i hope now it's better okay yeah okay. so basically just want to have a uh, uh, quick question uh, basically uh actually yeah. i want to say that uh, as per as per the topic the basic needs of our life is like food shelter and clothing so i want to ask here is that uh, uh, i mean whenever if it's like uh, we are having some personal growth and with time our uh, expectations with life also changes so do you think we should uh, stick to the very basic necessities of life uh, like food shelter and clothing or we should be i mean give uh, <clears throat> uh, some i can say like uh, Uh, our interest should change with uh, with our personal growth and development and in as you know that in the, the current times we expect that our life should be luxurious and uh, we should be having some lot of luxuries in our daily life so do you think that uh, uh, that this particular life we should expect or we should directly stick to the basic amenities of life like food shelter and clothing and we should be happy with that i mean <laughs> what's your suggestion in this awesome this is awesome awesome thank you thank you so i think the uh, uh let's do this one second and just share uh, and one second let's do the chrome tab okay so that is a great question i think actually okay so here the reason why i picked up this topic back to basics kind of like what do we actually need is trying to understand with clarity what we actually need and then from here how can we propel ourselves to personal growth so this is in fact uh, the most essential thing to try to understand the clarity with which we can just operate so if we know that see why do we start so i'll tell you a concept of american uh, um, individuality so american individuality means oh i'm wearing a pair of nike shoes oh you are wearing a pair of adidas shoes oh you are wearing a bunch of just uh, regular store uh, brand shoes okay so that defines my individuality right but uh, uh, the point here is if you understand with clarity that this branding this whole thing is something that has been created to make us a consumer uh, by no means i don't want you to have a luxury i want you to have the most luxurious life as possible but is the uh, my only question is is that your definition of a luxury life or are you getting infatuated by uh, somebody else's lifestyle and you want to replicate that uh, but at the end of the day materialism is trying to pursue something that is uh, 
uh, not going to last forever thinking that it will be an everlasting thing so it will give you an everlasting joy or something like that so that is uh, where i'm trying to get to um, especially so here if you say that okay uh, let's say the basics okay you have um, if there is a person if there is a person in um, a slum area in mumbai if i say that are yaar why don't you aspire for awesome great things you have this unbelievable potential in you if i say that okay how do you think that person will respond because right now usko 2 dollar per day kamane ke liye he has to do so much of you know uh, physically intensive labor and get through the day right so uska basic needs he they are not been met so he is not able to even propel himself to think bigger because he is survival ke liye he is struggling so for for us thankfully for those of us who have the food shelter and clothing taken care of it is our chance to shine because everything else like brands okay so i'm going to what we are doing here is we are just accumulating in the name of luxury okay so i want to have this luxury i want to have this um uh, Deepika Padukone I think was wearing a 3000 rupee mask uh, when I was asking my children who are in Bangalore some of my students that I teach in Bangalore and Delhi I was asking like are yaar mask ka kitna cost hai and they were like aunty it's just 25 rupees and I'm like 25 rupees versus 3000 rupees right so I am saying ki yahan pe if 25 mein jugad ho sakta hai you get a mask khatam karo wahan pe basic need and like think bigger like think greater thing so that's where i'm trying to uh, uh, get to here so um, i i'm happy that you asked this question sumini because you are going to clarify a lot of uh, misconceptions that people might have uh, based on what i'm trying to say so i really appreciate that you asking uh, but here when you propel yourself so i'm i'm just saying here that there is a distinction between there is a distinction between how the commu- the the society wants us to be a consumer of all these things in the name of luxury and branding and like i have this beautiful vacation i am going to do this and all these awesome things uh, but at the end of the day are they really in your best interest or uh, we have the latest and the greatest phone so somebody was telling me in india one of my students he was like uh, um, oh auntie you no know, if i have to buy an iphone uh, i might as well buy a new laptop because you know the cost is the same i'll get a very nice laptop uh, for the price of a phone but what has iphone become it has become a status symbol so people would rather buy an iphone to show like look how woke i am and look how great i am to uh, instead of you know just so that's uh, where i was trying to get to um so i don't by any means i don't want you to cut down on whatever you want to aspire because desire is going to be a motivator right so we cannot not mm-hmm. have desires because we'll be like everybody will become a sant and like hari om so that's not what the point is yeah so so you mean uh, that we should uh, i mean desire and uh, try to achieve and not just restrict to only the basic necessities rather we should uh if we are uh, i mean if we are getting happiness uh, by achieving these small small luxuries not very big i can say if we are uh, happy with the small luxuries then we should go for them see my okay my goal is to make 5 billion dollars and i want to uh, 2044 may i'm going to get the nobel prize that is my goal okay? okay that is a desire that i have and that is propelling my action every day Uh, so here uh, yesterday i was reading some news uh, that broke my heart that bill gates was trying to influence somebody to get the nobel peace prize or something like that and uh, i was just feeling so bad ki <laughs> you know that is also a desire uh, nobel prize winning a nobel prize is also something like uh, you know people think that it is a status symbol and all that so it is a very sad thing but i want you to define what your success is and check box that only for yourself not because other people will consider you awesome or anything when i want the 5 billion dollars obviously because i can use that money to make a larger impact than what i'm already doing so uh, it's up to you what you define your uh, uh, you know what will give you peace and fulfillment at the end of the day so that's uh, here i the understand point. and when when last thing uh, <laughs> i want to ask that in case i we have uh, do i prefer to have some achievable achievable targets uh, i mean my dreams and ambitions are not that, that high 
which are unachievable but the point is that in case uh, some targets if i am planning to reach somewhere after 2 3 years and by chance if i am not uh, reaching there or i am not achieving what i what i am planning right now so in that case i most of the times um, be like uh, oh man i missed it i lost that opportunity and uh, i mean that thing uh, impacts my daily routine also so how to cope yeah. with that situation in case i i mean my i am unable to achieve my target okay so i'll tell you sir uh, i'll tell you about goal setting we can do in, like an extensive thing but i'll just digress here i think uh, uh, i think people will be okay with us digressing a little bit here from the topic but basically okay so here you have made a goal that this is where you want to achieve in 2 years oh actually you know what let's do this so this is where your uh, target is so here is uh, again one some of my beautiful drawing skills this is sumanyu and he is here he is trying to aspire for something he has this vision that he is going to do all these great things in 2 years so he he thought that this is a reasonable time frame that he has given himself and he is going to achieve this yes so now what happens is reality hits close to home uh you are here because of circumstances because of your own uh, lack of motivation or uh, your own procrastination your like a lot of circumstances that led up to like literally the deadline is looming and still you see that in the two years whatever your dreams were like all the list mein jo bhi hai wo nahi ho raha wo nahi hoga okay that's what has happened based on your own um uh, some of it is your own doing and some of it is obviously uh, circumstances led up to that here from here so let's say i had big targets for example for myself last year um i was going to be you won't believe uh, uh <laughs> so i was going to have uh, my school in four different locations so that was my goal okay abhi the state of affairs is like this sir right now the state of affairs is i have an own my school is only operational online okay so forget this entire thing that dream never realized okay so here i am right now with a completely different reality right now which is uh, i only have an online presence okay but here is what i do i do two things i do two things when you whenever uh, i my reality is completely different than what i have aspired for first thing is i take stock of www so www is uh, what went well here literally what went well was i am alive okay <laughs> i am here i can still i can still aspire to dream something i you know literally ground up like a, nothing so uh, i am still alive my health is still there i can still aspire to dream something bigger than whatever those four locations are you won't believe it if i look at the reality right now i'm teaching in 20 different countries which would have been impossible with only those four locations so something good has come out of that right so right now i want you to spin that story of your current reality with what went well what went well something must have gone well you must have learned a truck learned a truck load of ideas and you might have already gathered all this experience which is invaluable something money that cannot money cannot buy right there's so many things i'm sure if you write down the list what went well i have i have thousand things that went well in spite of my dream being shattered and i losing almost all of my life savings okay but here i am alive ready to dream bigger so there is a, a statement called um, i know i'm sure you know andrew carnegie have you heard of andrew carnegie he's one of the biggest uh, developers uh, real estate developers and biggest uh, business uh, men in america that lived in the 19, in the 20th century so he says the the best thing that can happen to a child is him being born in poverty it means when you are the poorest when you are like in the depths of not having the success that you want out the, out of that you can rise stronger and better and bigger so the regret so there is a telugu telugu me there is a saying i don't know how to translate it correctly like in english but i'll try chitta chin, chinta is chitta chinta means regret right that worry is chitta chitta ka aag jo hai it's like a uh, 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 all these uh, cremation may it burns right like the body burns it is like that right like chitta 
you should not have that worry of regret otherwise it is going to stop you wherever you are and it's not going to allow you to move forward so that regret of you are i had all these plans nothing happened theek hai nahi hua kya karenge i am here i am alive i am ready to charge ahead so that is just a little bit of reframing our reality because what is the alternative so many we can always sit here and just feel bad about ourselves like exactly. what is the all you yeah, right so so yeah just i just want you to reframe your current reality with www and what went well how can i propel forward so please right, good luck right. uh, i want you to dream bigger and better than whatever your uh, dream was and like i'm sure you will chase that and achieve bigger than that so <laughs> that's yeah i got it uh, that's pretty well explained thank you so much and i exactly. hope i'll i'll try myself that uh, i'll follow the www rule in case i won't <laughs> achieve yeah that's very very i mean really nice example thank you thank you thank so much you. thank you thank, thank you. you thank you sir okay okay so i'll just start sharing a little bit here and i will go to um uh, okay one second let's see i can okay so here uh okay sorry guys i think i missed a bunch of uh, things okay if anybody wants to join and this post this again and i go back to the comments um sorry a little bit of digression there but uh, you know if uh, somebody is not um, able to cope with the regret uh, or that worry of not uh, being able to chase what they want or anything i just wanted to just stop there and uh, talk about it okay so here uh, i'm back here uh, okay yes according to your age jayesh mr g yes thank you okay So now when you started talking about needs, I was checking my economics work differences between needs and wants. Okay, <laughs> okay. So yes, yes, there is a difference between needs and wants and desires, and uh, it is uh, uh, what need is absolute survival, right? Like, uh, uh, what do refugees need? They need peace of mind. That is the reason why they are like just traveling and like getting out of their homes that they know all their life and like moving on so rapidly. So that's like uh, something, yeah. and uh, wants is something that after your survival basic survival is met like what do you want like what do you want what do you aspire for what do you desire so desires and all those uh, so the ji is here okay so roti kapda aur makka okay uh, yeah it changes with age time and situation absolutely 100% and uh, om shanti okay so freeze is uh, 43 still single should i become a sadhu or am i a new age guru okay so yes what <laughs> so uh, 43 is still single okay so here uh, again uh, this definition of uh, see at 43 based on whatever your uh, lifestyle and your situation and how your own personal life has evolved you are where you are right so Uh, whether the, by definition of society you should have had a child by now you should have had a great big uh, home by now like all these things are again definitions of what society you know all our cultural brain brainwashing does to us so but what is uh, if you are contented if you are fulfilled if you are peaceful with wherever you are i guess you have already arrived and you are a new age guru so uh, i think uh, so nihira you are in you are using your economics book so i don't know if you are uh, Younger than trees or not, but there is some conversation going. Pooja says <laughs> it's better to be single. Than that. Um, yes, believe it or not, uh, people are so disenfranchised with uh, marriage, with the uh, children. Um, they're not getting married. They're not having children. It's it's a uh, it's a different world we are living in than you know when I was a teenager or like when I was twenty. No, I'm just entered Vana Prasasham, but teach yoga for years. Train over. Oh my goodness. Okay, Jayesh Mistri ji. Wow, body and mind aligned. So we have to listen to you absolutely, Vana Prasta. That is awesome. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so that's okay. Uh, stick to what you have. In twenties, it beats just fine. Okay, there you go. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Okay. So needs are never going to end until you're dead because the living person wants more, more, nothing else has to be needs. And yes, why should we not have any uh, desires or needs or anything? Because um, as long as you're not trampling on anybody else's right to live or like uh, their right to freedom or anything, you are welcome to desire whatever you want, I guess. Uh, and um, <laughs> so here, uh, by achieving a sadhu and for everything while being married, you can connect uh, God while being married also sadhu and running to the forest. Okay. So <laughs> 
Om Shanti Ji is giving some uh, valid uh, ideas, okay? The serious method, okay. So better simply to just accept actually possible because I'm trying to accept. Nothing is perfect, so one is not going to get perfect in life. So no one is going to get perfect in life. Okay, so Archana, um, see, uh, again, okay, so for everything, people will accuse me of picking things apart and talking about it, but my thing is, again, perfection may definition, yeah, uh, so you, you are, if I'm, one second, so you are, the, the, the idea that, okay, so things will always not work out uh, in our favor always and things will not be perfect in the end. That is absolutely a valid point to be thinking about. And uh, yeah, financially, personally, and sometimes you just have to, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's okay. So one second, I'm just, I think, okay, let me just move a little bit here. Okay, traveling is giving more happiness than, than marriage, okay. You guys are okay. Sweetie, I see somebody here. Okay. <laughs> Sweetie more agarwal. Okay, welcome from Facebook. <laughs> okay, so I need Bollywood free India, international free Bharat, you to for SSP. Very good uh, establishing the frame of mind of us, SSRI and Sharnaji. I think that, that is awesome. Kids are born into rich families. Kindly tell me how I can fulfill my needs. Okay, so Palashji, can you just uh, put your uh, needs once again? Uh, I am a little belonging is really where you fit in and you can have and it reflects you and uh, gives you life meaning. Okay, very nice. Yes, Sukhija ji, I saw that your friend joined, but what about you? You joined and you left. <laughs> okay, so here, um, again, once again, the question of the day, what are your top three needs uh, so that it can help? So as Sumanya ji was uh, saying earlier, should I just stick to my basic needs or should I aspire for more, right? So the idea is when you address your most underlying needs, that is on which you can propel yourself forward. So that was the whole idea of this discussion. Um, Okay, so that's a little bit about that. And uh, let's go to. Okay, so, uh, so yeah, we usually focus on what went wrong. Yes, we always focus, unfortunately, on what went wrong, not on what uh, is uh, happy and good. Okay, so just wanted to address this a little bit here. Um, continuing my monologue from earlier, uh, if there is uh, nobody who wants to join, I can just uh, say this and just, uh, you know, this can be my closing comments and we can leave. Um, here, uh, the idea behind hyper-consumerism and techno-materialism, these are the two words that are being thrown at us from the past 10 years. Uh, there is an urgent need to also address this because hyper-consumerism is, um, in America right now, we are 3% of the world's children, 3% of the world's children, but our children have 40% of the world's toys. So you can imagine that we are raising them that are kuch nahi hoga. just oh you want this baby okay click on flipkart oh click on uh, 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 amazon and uh, one day shipping two day shipping a jayega ghar mein and you can play literally that toy that bacha will uh, play with it for like i don't know like half an hour 20 minutes and then that's it done right so what are we raising our children on what are we doing as far as teaching them the values of uh, material wealth acquisition so that's one thing uh, that i would like for parents especially for parents or uh, uh, people who um, uh, care for any children under them uh, who mentor them to think about uh, so the other thing that as adults we are doing is something called techno materialism techno materialism is uh, as of the last decade as of last decade 2020 we had um, just um, americans just americans who were sitting on th 35 billion dollars of unused technology so it means you buy these devices, you buy a GPS, you buy this, uh, you buy this flip phone, you buy another phone, you buy uh, every two years, you keep upgrading your phone. Like all these $35 billion worth of uh, techno materialism we are involved in, uh, especially in America. And I can see that um, in, even in India, the commoditization, like uh, consumerism has gone up a lot. Um, but uh, the idea with this is, <laughs> as I was telling at the beginning, uh, you know, our garages are so full with all these boxes that are still unopened uh, why does it have to come to that stage so that is the question 
Uh, and what is the point about talking about all this is we are going to get into decision fatigue, which is going to lead us to like, are, uh, oh, we have all these things now. I have to dust them. I have to clean them. I have to take care of them. I bought two cars. Now I have to clean them. I have to do what are the, what is this? We are only keeping up with cleaning and taking care of the things that we are acquiring, not focusing on something that we can aspire to do um, better, right? Like how can we improve the quality? Like somebody was saying knowledge, like education. Why are we not focused on the things that money cannot buy? So I'll just add uh, Priyanka and I'll continue later. Priyanka, hi. Welcome, welcome. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm doing well. <laughs> what are you thinking about the topic? It's great. And uh, the question which was there, uh, how, what are three important needs? Yeah. Uh, top three needs. Um, according to me, my top, uh, you're a little bit breaking up speeding. Uh -huh. I think you're a Hello. little bit breaking up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Uh, so there are a few things which I want to do uh, related to my career. Okay. Okay. So I want because COVID has really taken a toll on uh, uh, everybody's career. So I have to strengthen that. Then I want to sharpen my skills in my pistol shooting also. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Yes. So I have been practicing, but because of COVID, everything is closed. So academy is also closed. Okay. Uh, so here, uh, if you uh, think about uh, the solution rather than the problem, here you are. I'm sure you are doing a lot of things in the background, uh, except then physically that pistol shooting practice. You can do a lot to manage your own mindset. You can prepare yourself in different ways to get ready for when the things will open up to you know get literally sharper at uh, your. Uh, skills right so um the second thing okay so you want to did you say you wanted to upgrade your job or get a job what did you say sorry uh, first one yes uh so i have been doing two things actually um in covid i planned about my business also so let's okay. see how it works out that uh, is awesome. because covid has taught a lot of things to everyone that you should have a second plan in your mind all the time Yes, a backup plan because nothing that we plan will ever work out. So it is just amazing. Yes. 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 And what I believe and as per my uh, intuition, there will be recession in uh, private sector for coming next two years because of COVID. Salaries will yeah. not be that great. For coming two years, what I feel. So, so it is. You have it is to possible. Have, yeah, yeah. So you have to have a second plan in your mind, uh, so that you have a little earning. And third That's thing is uh, develop yourself, which is very important. So that is my third need. Because COVID has really taught me how to develop myself, like. Do, yeah. do I actually forgot creativity. I left creativity. Yeah. Uh, I was in a very busy industry also. So yeah. in, during the COVID time, I started a lot of new things which I forgot somewhere. Yeah, yeah. that is amazing because and uh, that see that is what uh, a lot of a lot of parents are like oh my gosh you're teaching coding to five year olds uh, wow uh, how how can you do that like uh, they don't need coding and all that but the point is uh, instead of consuming like how we were consuming before we started creating right what is the alternative if we are not consuming the instead of children playing the games that are out there how about they use their brains to create uh, so that is the whole idea right and creativity is the opposite of consuming. So it is a great thing that you are 
um so and creating will also lead to whatever you are saying about your own personal development right you can also create a brand you can also create your own website you can also create showcase your skills uh, on youtube like you can do so many there's so many areas of creating so and uh, that is beautiful that you have identified these as your needs because these needs will keep you occupied and motivated for your next phase of life so that is a great uh, segue that you have laid out for yourself last statement rachna ji uh, you know uh, i have my own personal laptop but since i used to work uh, and i was a trainer so i always got a laptop from my company all, also so yeah. and then what uh, we used to do on laptop is like something which is related to my profession i yeah. was a trainer i used to touch powerpoint i was mm-hmm. in excel i was in word or yeah. uh, the softwares which are given by the company like uh, some of my role was in hr also so attendance software and all so i was not able to explore a uh, laptop yeah i never had time <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> like yeah. Uh, uh, you know uh, people do uh, in phone also they edit their videos and all and they do lot and lot of other things so i yeah. i'm exploring my lap- laptop also like how to design a website so yeah. it's very yeah, interesting they, also there you go see yes. no offense to anybody uh, who are suffering who who is suffering here in covid or anything but i always think that uh, you know losing my business uh, and covid happening and all this was the best thing that happened to my own personal life because it brought a lot of clarity uh for me because okay so nothing matters this doesn't matter what i was thinking about my own business like nothing matters right like no uh, so what really does matter like okay so i am alive i can use my creativity i can still learn a few things and like try to develop and like pivot and do something else and uh, you know maybe you losing your source of income and your revenue has made you stronger in a way that uh, you want to do something else with your own creativity and you, now you have time to pursue um, all those new skills which is awesome and i think uh, you know we can always sit and like feel bad about what has happened but you know it's time for us to move on and do awesome things that's great priyanka good luck uh, and thank you for sharing your uh, you know story thank you thank you thank you thank you so, good so i'm leaving i'm leaving now yeah okay you're welcome to stay or leave whatever you want to do <laughs> no i'm leaving good. now okay, okay bye okay bye thank you good preet ji how are you हेलो बहुत बढ़िया मैडम आप बताइए कैसे हैं सब ठीक है हाउ यू सेयर व्हाट व्हाट आर योर ओके सो लेट्स पुट दिस आउट क्वेश्चन अगेन अ व्हाट आर योर टॉप 3 नीड्स व्हाट आर यू डूइंग मैम मैं सो हिंदी हिंदी में बात करूंगा मैं हां प्लीज प्लीज ठीक है मैम मेरे हिसाब से मेरी जो तीन चीजें हैं जो मुझे जरूरत है जिनकी वो सुबह से लेकर शाम तक बदलती रहती हैं मूड के ऊपर सबका वो मूड एनवायरनमेंट और जो चीजें मिल गई हैं उसके हिसाब से चेंज होता रहता है वो लेकिन उन तीन चीजों को पाने के लिए जो चीज आपके पास नहीं है शायद सबसे बड़ी जरूरत ये वही है समझ रहे हैं मतलब उन तीन चीजों को पाने की सबसे ज्यादा जो जरूरत है जिसको सबसे ज्यादा जरूरत मेरी वही है नहीं ओके दिस इसको लेकर डिफाइन भी हां डिफाइन नहीं कर पा रहा हूं डिफाइन कोई नहीं कर पाता मैं आज मैं खुश हूँ शायद मेरी तीन चीजें अलग होंगी वो थोड़ा टाइम के लिए पैसा मिल जाए वो पैसे की जो जरूरत है वो खत्म हो जाएगी उससे और चीज आ जाएगी लेकिन मेरी जो रियल चीज जो तीन चीजें चाहिए मेरी तीन हो सकती है एक हो सकती है उसको पाने के लिए जो चीजें कम है मेरी जरूरत उस चीज की है try to encourage ourselves to like to think okay as you were saying this thinking is so meta right now right like so what do i need and what do i need to accomplish that right like all those things right so very well said yeah aur ek aur cheez hai jo mere se meri behan ne ek baar aise galti se baat karte karte mu se aaya tha uske ye mu se bola tha usne galti galti se wo dobara se kabhi usse sawal nahi kiya us sawal ye pucha tha कि भैया आपको ऐसी क्या चीज पता करनी पड़ेगी कि जिससे आपको ये पता चले कि आपको क्या चीज पता करनी चाहिए 
<laughs> I mean वो आज से वो दस साल पहले उसने पूछा था आज भी इसका जवाब मेरे पास नहीं है कि मुझे वो नहीं. क्या चीज पता करनी है जिससे ये पता चले मुझे क्या चीज पता करनी चाहिए <laughs> वो मतलब वो क्वेश्चन जो था लिटरली अगर आप किसी से पूछा जाए ये सब चीजें अगर कोई जवाब yeah. नहीं होगा किसी के पास नहीं ये तो अभी मेटाफिजिकल हो गया ना मतलब पूरा लाइक व्हाट एम आई चेजिंग एंड हाउ डू आई नो व्हाट आई एम चेजिंग लाइक इट्स जस्ट जस्ट ऑसम यार ये चीज है और मेरे हिसाब से मैम ये जो मैं सुहाने बोला था पैसा पैसा और हेल्थ इनके अलावा चौथी चीज जो है वो मेरे लिए एग्जिस्ट नहीं करती है हाँ, नहीं करती बिकॉज मेरे पास अगर अच्छी हेल्थ होगी तो डेफिनेटली हाँ. मैं हर चीज मैनेज कर सकता हूँ अपने साथ और बाकी चीजों के साथ भी पैसा रहेगा मैं हर चीज कर सकता हूँ और दुखी भी रहेगा अगर तो मैं खुश कर सकता हूँ मदद कर सकता हूँ लेकिन मैं खुश रहूंगा सामने दुखी रहे पैसा ना रहे मेरे पास मैं कुछ हाँ. नहीं करूंगा uh i don't know i don't know gurpreet ji i i am not a huge fan of money money and health maybe money a little bit of belonging because uh, uh love or belonging so let's say aapke relationship mein aapki sister relationship like both of them in that context if you don't see uh if you don't see your existence in that context as a brother or like as a partner or like as a father or like whatever it is i feel that relevance rahega nahi matlab that's what my personal thing is so i would like to also in my needs that is what one of my needs is like i want to have a sense of belonging like i ha- i'm here because i have this community uh, right now uh, 22 people are watching this like uh, are we, we are all a community I, i want that sense of belonging to anchor me somewhere so i mean it's just me uh, so that's why that's where we might disagree a little bit ji yeah, ma'am hak maybe shayad aapko uh... पर्पल रंग पसंद हो मुझे पसंद ना हो वेरी करते हैं चीजें बहुत सारी चीजें वेरी करती रहती हैं बस यही है कि मैं वही बता रहा हूँ कि कभी भी मैं इस चीज को डिफाइन नहीं कर पाया हालांकि तीन चीजों की बात की जाए मैंने मनी मनी इसलिए बोला मैंने कि एक मनी तो वो है जो मैं कमाना चाहता हूँ एक मनी वो है जो मैं देना चाहता हूँ तीसरा जो है वो हेल्थ तो वो अगर हेल्थ नहीं रही मेरे पास ना मैं लेके कुछ कर पाऊंगा देके कुछ कर पाऊंगा मैं Right, right. Okay. In your top three, uh, do you have a dog, Gurpreet Ji? जी हाँ, गली में बहुत सारे हैं. Sorry. Okay, I have a dog, so I keep wondering. Okay. So, नहीं तो नहीं नहीं and see, I think that is how you have defined. आपने वो जो top three needs बताए हैं कि Uh, that is your top three need, and maybe, as you said, the second need of money that you want to give, so that other people are like, you know, they're yeah. ma- meeting their basic needs, and that is where your sense of belonging comes. So I think that's great. Yeah, as long as you have identified what drives you, I think that's good enough. So thank you, thank you <laughs> for coming and uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, anything else? You're welcome to hang out here and just look at the comments. Yes, yeah, sure, ma'am. Okay. Let's do so here. Oh, comments one second. I just want to see. Okay, so one second. I correct my statement. Okay, Palash. Yeah, so Palash. I think. Let me see if I have Palash's message now. Okay, so to keep away loneliness and uh, mental peace and focus. Okay, so Palash. I just want to address this a little bit here. Uh, okay, so Nihira ji, I just uh, saw Nihira. I just saw this. Okay, uh, okay. So let's see this. Okay, so to keep my loneliness away, mental peace and focus. Okay, so Palashi, so what is the your your needs, right? How do you how do we address these three? So one of the main things is focus. If you understand, okay. Actually, you know what? Let's do a side board here. Uh, one second. <laughs> i will write down these so that i remember and stay on track for these okay so here let's see what did you say loneliness and mental peace and focus okay so let's see one is loneliness peace focus okay so everything if you are able to uh, i think i am addressing palash ji right now so palash ji if you can understand the for everything if you 
can visualize the end result. So end result may, for example, you want to take focus. So focus may, you want to stay focused because you want to stay on track for your goals. You want to, you know, stay on track for whatever you want to achieve without getting distracted. But if you understand that we are all a product of our distractions right now, if you understand the bottom line that technology wants us to do is stay hooked onto our devices as much as possible, right? Without getting distracted from the devices that will boost up their bottom line. But if you understand that that is bad for us, if you understand that not having focus, not staying on course for our paths, for, uh, for our goals and desires, what will happen is we will not accomplish and we'll stay stuck somewhere here without achieving our goals fully and focus our, because our focus is taking a hit. So if you understand the reason why we do what we do. So again, you we can go deeply into this. Why are we not usually focused is because some of my children in my class. Um, so we learn all these teaching modules and we understand that children come with a lot of baggage into the classroom. Uh, either their parents are divorcing. Uh, some children are hungry. You won't believe it. Some of my children actually uh, in poorer neighborhoods when they sign in, I can see that they are hungry. You know, they might have been feeding on some junk food or something and they come to the classroom hungry. So you have to address all these needs. So why are you not being focused? So if you can try to understand the root causes of that, sometimes you have to make focus sustainable. And I have written about it extensively on my website. Uh, uh, I'll put the link here down if you want to go and understand that. But focus has to be sustainable. And actually, I can do an exclusive thing on focus as well. Um, we can talk about focus and how to make it sustainable as well. Uh, sometimes we are hungry. Sometimes we are moody. We let our moods decide what we want to do. So we have to understand the root causes of why we are lacking focus. Okay. Uh, and then you said mental peace. So what is uh, taking away our mental peace right now? So for example, I will tell you what takes away from my mental peace. Uh, what happens is I see pictures um, of people who are, uh, now I saw this picture on the, uh, let me try to pull it up if I can see. Um, it is one of the pictures. Oh, one second. I even bookmarked it on Twitter. Hold on. <laughs> Uh, because it uh, can be a constant reminder. Okay, so let's see if it is right here, this gentleman here. How can I show this tab? Okay, so open image in new tab. And can you see this one now? Okay, let me try to do stop share screen and I'll show you something, Palashji. <laughs> okay, Chrome tab. Yes. So I saw this uh, image on Twitter and it immediately took away my peace of mind. Even now, uh, it just takes away my peace of mind. Because these are the kind of images I saw. I saw growing up, right? So, uh, you have to try to understand what takes away your peace of mind. So you have to understand that what is keeping you away, what is stealing that. Try to understand that and try to address that. So here, uh, when I see these kind of pictures, uh, it takes away my peace of mind. But I think that, OK, so what can I do in my own capacity that can help people like that? I go donate. I try to you know, reach out to people uh, in my own community in Vijayawada or something. I try to help people uh, there. I'm trying to do my best. right? So that you're mitigating uh, that lack of peace of mind for you. So you have to do some actions to be able to, as Gurpreet Ji was saying just now, what do I have to do? To fulfill my desire what are the things that i need to fulfill my desire again there are you know it's like a recursive thing so what do you need to do to get your uh, peace of mind so you have to think like that and then again uh, the first uh, topic was uh, loneliness loneliness okay so loneliness maybe we have done an exclusive episode um i believe it was uh, one second let's see <laughs> I'm going to post this link over here if you want. Uh, we talked about it uh, extensively last time. Loneliness. OK, episode 10 may. OK, sorry, one second. I'll just post this here uh, for those of you who want to see that episode here. OK, I just posted it. I believe my internet is a little broken. I apologize for that. 
Okay, so I posted that episode uh, on loneliness and you're welcome to see my opening uh, monologue and my closing comments, uh, Palashi. And uh, you have to do something actionable to be able to mitigate these three uh, things. Okay, so you are, you have these needs to keep then keep these things away, right? How can you do that? So you have to get action oriented and do things that will uh, help you reach that goal. Okay, so these are all actionable things that you have to do. Um, I hope I addressed it a little bit here, but uh, we can go extensively into that uh, when you want to care. Basically, inspiration, your greed, your thoughts. Okay, yes, exactly. So soundscapes, one of the things is, when does that need become a greed? So that is where I was trying to drive to the whole uh, topic here. Um, is this need really yours, like your basics, so that you can start functioning in a better way? Or is it the greed uh, that you have acquired or adopted based on society's definitions of how you want to have to live? So that is the whole point of the conversation. Mm, this exactly. So, OK, so. <laughs> Gurpreet ji wants to Priyanka ji, please see if uh, uh, Priyanka, I'm not sure, but I will try to send this message to her. Uh, thank you, Gurpreet ji, for your offer. Um, and I think she can find you online on Twitter as well, I think. So, yeah, thank you. Okay, so Jayesh, Puranas have explained it. Yes. Uh, yep, needs keep changing. Yeah. Okay, so simplicity is profound, understandable, and less is more. Yeah, absolutely. Less is more. And uh, that is uh, exactly where I'm going to go to in the closing comments here, uh, Soundscapes, that uh, the more, uh, the, if you want to achieve more, you have to subtract. That is the basic essence of life, uh, even though it might feel a little co contradictory. That is true. Um, that is awesome, Gurpreet What is your topic of expertise? And uh, uh, is it how to use internet or? No, no, G Mira hai online jo digital marketing hota hai. Okay. So what the scratch say ki even class ten ka bacha bhi lab jo top ke digital marketer se betha ke sikha sakta hai unko. That is awesome. Digital marketing. That is awesome. Okay, great, great, great. Thank you for that. आप प्रियंका मैम को ऐसे चाहिए था वेबसाइट सीख रही हैं वो मैंने कोई इंक्लूड किया वो सीख सकते हैं इवन अगर जैसे प्रियंका मैम का एचआर का एक्सपर्टीज है अगर उनके ऊपर वो मुझे टू आवर्स की वीडियो बना के देंगे अगर वो बेसिक एक्सपर्ट लेवल का एचआर का तो जितना वो साल भर में कमाते हैं जो उनकी अर्निंग है शायद उससे ज्यादा वो वन वीक में कमा लेंगे इसी से दैट इज ऑसम यस 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 एंड द पावर ऑफ द इंटरनेट इज या अमेजिंग and youtube is also where 86% excuse me 90% of people are consuming content now so um, yeah great thank you gurpreet ji okay so Last week's code, I accept the change is constant and that you have to adjust. Yes, absolutely. And uh, follow me. If anything, COVID has taught me it is the power of spontaneity <laughs> that you cannot just keep planning forever and I should just, uh, yeah, act. My top three needs, <laughs> my top three needs for tonight are prawn, pulao, gulab jamun, and ice cream. So I think tomorrow is another day. Okay. <laughs> okay. I hope you are enjoying, please. <laughs> uh, I really love these are hands. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, uh, Okay, so nothing is in our hands. I don't know. We are going to have to talk about that at an extensive level. <laughs> Below me, I don't uh, necessarily agree with that. Uh, health is important. Yes, yes, exactly. So if we say that uh, my dog's name is Rad, I'm saying my dog's name is Rad, so my dog's name is Yogi. <laughs> Yogi, um, so thank you for Pulami, thank you Pulami for asking. But here, see the same two sentences, right? It, nothing is in our hands, and health is the most important. Health is also so health is in our hands, right? So like that, uh, please uh, let's start taking ownership of uh, whatever we are doing because I'm sure you just said it in a passing way, but obviously, yeah. Um, <laughs> You won't be happy. Happiness is a different topic, completely a very big topic that we have to talk about. Uh, uh, definitely, that we'll take that up. What is happiness? Also, we'll do it. Okay, Niraji says very nice, Gurpreet Ji. Um, unhappiness is more common than happiness. Okay, so let's do a happiness session as well, because I think there is some kind of a misconception about what happiness uh, might entail. 
Um, okay, Jayesh, Mr. Ji, uh, enjoy your Vana Prastashram and hope to see you again. Um, okay, so. <laughs> okay, so soundscapes, again, you make it a PG 13 for me here on this. Uh, Palaji, thank you for your uh, eyeballs again. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, so time to wrap up. I'll just uh, put some closing comments here and. Uh, Thank you, everybody. OK, so here is uh, the idea, right? So wh why is the top po topic about materialism so important? What? Why do we even have to talk about this topic? It is very simply that materialism, what is it? It be acquiring all these things is simply expecting the everlasting from the neverlasting. Yes. So let me just do this, hide a little bit of the comments here. Mm -hmm. OK, so I just I just put this up here. OK, so what is materialism? It is expecting the everlasting from the neverlasting. So the reason why we have to teach. So there is a um, uh, child psychologist uh, called uh, Mad Madeline Levine. And what she says is materialistic kids and materialistic people are the ones who you know end up growing up as adults those are the ones as children will end up having lower grades low higher rates of depression and uh, they abuse all these uh, uh, things uh, thinking that that will give them fulfillment and satisfaction and happiness because they keep thinking that oh celebrity ne 3000 rupee ka mask pana maybe acquiring that will give me happiness so all these things are misconceptions that children will get into and uh, uh, Okay, so even if you don't remember any of this right now, the point is how does a life of clarity look like? How does a life of clarity look like? Now, I think Soundscapes was saying this. Less is, excuse me, less is more because if if a clarity of a life of clarity looks like this, when you, in spite of, instead of doing, instead of being more, uh, being uh, um, uh, supermom, being um, you know a, a best homemaker, being the best uh, friend, or being everything. Instead of doing more, instead of having more, what we will do is we want to give more because we see that inherently we are just so full and contented with whatever we have. We would want to give more, so that is how a life of clarity looks like. Because at the end of the day. Clear, cluttering, decluttering our mental space and our physical space is the only way forward for us to understand what really matters and what will help us propel ourselves forward. So here, I want to leave you with this thought. If you want to, if you want to radically simplify your life, okay, radically simplify your life and take away all this fluff on it, just imagine COVID has taught us one thing. What do you want right now? You just want to go and hug your mom or you want to go and hug your dad or you want to talk to your best friend and just reach out to her and give her a handshake or something like that. That is the most basic thing that we want right now, right? So for what do we need at the most basic thing is you subtract all the things and look for the health you have, the roof over your head that you have. You already have everything you need to start propelling forward. You don't uh, imagine somebody running out of a burning home. Imagine somebody running out of a burning home. What will they take with them? That is the thing that I'm talking about as basics. Right? You can survive with whatever you have right now if you have the will and the desire to propel yourself forward. That is the whole idea. And attitude is golden. You you might have like a um, you know a great place to live in. You're one of the richest persons in the world. But if you have a shitty attitude, you know what can you do about it? Like there's nothing good that is going to come out of you. Um, the other thing is a life of clarity looks like this: expectations. Because if you have expectations, I'll tell you a very simple thing. I went to uh, the beach recently last month. Uh, I had this. I told my son. Uh, to hey please uh, bring my chappal also I just left it there and he just took his chappal and he started running uh, away and I, I was thinking the whole 10 minutes that I was on the beach supposedly observing the beautiful sunset I was only thinking about how dare he not bring my chappal how dare he disrespects me right so that is the expectation that I had because of which I missed the beautiful sunset so a life of clarity is where you are understanding the most basics that you need to preserve your sense of calm and well-being so that you can propel, propel yourself forward. So um, at the end of the day, what, what 
uh, I was just telling uh, Sumanyuji what went well, thinking about all the things that have happened to la lead you right now to the point where you are responsible for everything that you have done in life, you know, and starting from here on, good health, positive nurturing relationships, and the most important thing that I need is a strong, sustainable purpose in life. Those are the three things that I need to ensure that I am willing to, uh, you know, li live a life of service. So what are my needs? Uh, I need my physical and my mental health, positive nurturing relationships around me, and a strong, sustainable purpose so that I can motivate myself to move forward. Okay, so um, that's uh, all I had. Uh, let me see. I just if anybody wants a takeaway or two, I can suggest that please. Uh, one thing, one thing in your house that you haven't seen or used in the last six months, if you can donate it, discard it, or just dump it, okay, that will be awesome. So just that is a starting point. That will be like that will mark the beginning of you living a life of clarity. Just, just that takeaway. You know, I'll give a takeaways for all of my children in the classroom. So I'm just uh, doing that. So just discard, donate, or dump one thing that you haven't seen in the last six months. You always think that, "Arey, mujhe ye chahiye hoga." Ending me, you might need it. I might need it sometime. But just one thing, if you can, you know, discard, um, donate, or dump, that will be awesome. That will be like your path forward um, again my top three needs are if anybody wants to make notes and just think about their own needs uh, you know just I right here right now I'm grateful for my physical and my mental health uh, I'm grateful for my positive and nurturing relationships that I need to anchor me in place and I have a strong sustainable purpose that will motivate and propel me every single day out of my uh, current reality Okay, so I'll just check the comments and uh, I really appreciate those of you who are here. Uh, as always, it's very fulfilling and nurturing for me to be here uh, in your company. I appreciate that. And uh, okay, so let's see. Okay, so money has nothing to do with having an extreme ability to sell as well as well. The money doesn't matter. That is true. That is true, Sanskrit. So that is, uh, see, the most essential basic needs uh, actually in reality don't have anything to do with money. OK, because uh, at the end of the day, uh, if I don't have a positive nurturing relationship, if I cannot hug my grandmother, if I cannot do, if I cannot have a conversation with my father, it, all these things have nothing to do with money. And uh, but uh, it's OK. People who have money as one of their needs, uh, as their top priorities do so because of a reason. It definitely gives them options to do whatever they want for their other needs. So, you know, it is to each his own. It's OK. Um, that kind of What's on that miniature chair? Uh, miniature chair. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, one second. Where is? I keep forgetting where it is. Okay, this side. So this one is is just uh, one of my very good Korean friends gave me this chair, okay. and this one is my cards, my business cards. I mean, these days I just email people my business card. There's no real need for. Uh, but I just got. Uh, this was all pre-COVID, right? I got uh, 500 uh, cards, excuse me, 1,000 cards printed out. So I have to live with that junk now. <laughs> so that is reality. Uh, thank you, Sanika Ji, for hanging on. Uh, you were at the beginning and even now. I really appreciate your time. Um, OK, so yes, Palomi, you were saying that nothing is in our hands as far as the pandemic is concerned. OK, so it's just a little, I know, I know you personally, and we have a very good relationship, and I know your sentiments so i was just a little confused okay i appreciate that uh yes 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 absolutely okay but let me thank you for clarifying that um donate discard dump <laughs> okay thank you neera for uh, taking me on my word okay i don't oh oh you don't understand the difference okay ah uh, okay so discard and dump okay Chika, so <laughs> really there is no there is probably no technical difference here uh, discard donate dump uh, okay so let's do this donate and discard how about this i reframe the whole sentence and i just say donate or discard how about that thank you for catching me <laughs> and uh, what about my presence rms and what about your presence uh, what about it okay <laughs> 
uh, you are always welcome on my show and we can talk is that what you are talking about uh, sans <laughs> you technical difference there is there okay okay so what is it uh, <laughs> neera thank you yes yes so um, okay so one more minute and we can leave and thank you everybody who is here hanging out with me uh, and it's uh, pretty late in india so please uh, retire those of you who are tuning in from india and uh, thank you everyone from around the world again i'll see you guys next week until then goodbye so let's see donate is a good way to go. Okay. Uh...